Hello, everybody. My name is Roy Nemer of MundoAlbiSelesse.com. Argentina have qualified for the knockout stages of the Copa America. They have seven points as they lead the group. One, uh, one draw, two wins. The first draw, the 1-1 versus Chile. 1-0 win versus Uruguay. And the 1-0 win versus Paraguay have ensured qualification to the next round for Lionel Scaloni's men. Now, Scaloni has mentioned that for the next match, which will be versus Bolivia on Monday, so the Argentina national, the Argentina national team are getting about one week's rest uh, for that match. Scaloni will be resting some players. He already mentioned it uh, in the press conference that he will make some changes. He will rotate the squad for the match versus Bolivia on Monday. Uh, one of the reasons, obviously, due to fatigue, uh, the, the team has just played several, several matches in a very, very short span. And the other reason as well, due to the yellow cards accumulation, Argentina have six players away, uh, have six players, uh, pardon me, who are uh, one yellow card away from suspension. And those six players, we have them on screen right here. Emiliano Martinez, Lucas Martinez Cuarta, Gio Lo Celso, Leandro Paredes, Joaquin Correa, and Lotaro Martinez. Uh, should any one of them pick up a yellow card versus Bolivia, they would miss the, uh, the quarterfinal match of the Copa America. So there are, you know, I'm of the opinion, uh, reading uh, reading your comments, uh, a lot of people are of the opinion as well that a lot of them, if not all of them, should be rested uh, for the match versus Bolivia. And if we take a look in regards to Emiliano Martinez, should he get rested, the main choice would appear to be Franco Armani. Obviously, Armani, the previous number one for uh, Lionel Scaloni, no longer the case. It's now uh, Emiliano Martinez. So should Martinez get, uh, get replaced for the match or should he get rested? Uh, River Plate's Franco Armani is, is set to get uh, to get the start. Now, in the back line, we obviously mentioned uh, Lucas Martinez Cuarta, and depending on the formation that Scaloni would use, if it would be uh, five at the back or four, uh, however, anyone five or four, depending on on uh, what it would be. If we take a look at the options, you have Germán Pasella, obviously Nicolas Otamendi, and possibly even Lisandro Martinez. Now, Christian Romero set to start. Obviously, that could change. Uh, we're just we're discussing here. But um, that is a possibility. So the other options for Lionel Scaloni would be Pasella, Otamendi, and Lisandro Martinez. Let me know. Leave a comment who you think or who you would like uh, to start in place of, uh, of Martinez Cuarta should Scaloni uh, bench him. In midfield, uh, two of the three or two of the three regulars uh, are, uh, are yellow carded. So as we mentioned, Lochelso and Paredes, uh, they are on, um, on yellow cards. So Scaloni does have some options. Obviously, Nicolas Dominguez, who came on as a substitute. Ezekiel Palacios, who has been used by Scaloni as well throughout the World Cup qualifiers and the Copa America. Um, if we look at Guido Rodriguez, Rodriguez started the last two matches. Rodrigo de Paula as well. Uh, so if Scaloni wants to go with a four-man midfield, he could, if he goes with uh, Dominguez and Palacios, if he decides to go with three, well, then he has an option of either using Nicolas Dominguez or Ezekiel Palacios. Up front, uh, we have Joaquin Correa and Lotaro Martinez. So those are the, the two players that, um, you know, that are on yellow cards. Obviously, Lotaro Martinez did not play uh, the last match um, because of, I mean, let's say lack of form of the sort. Let's go with that. <laughs> we'll go with lack of form. Uh, so he was replaced by Sergio Aguero. And who knows, are we going to get uh, Aguero again? Are we not going to get Aguero? Let's see. However, the choices that Lotaro has, sorry, the choices that Lina Scaloni has are Sergio Aguero, Angel Correa, Angel Di Maria, and Julian Alvarez. Uh, obviously, uh, Nicholas, um, uh, Nicholas Gonzalez as well. It looks as though he has recovered. So we could even add him to the list. But in terms of the number nine, number nine, uh, for a replacement, a potential replacement for Lotaro Martinez, could Scaloni go with Aguero? Who knows? But these would be the options up front. Um, obviously, in case Messi gets uh, gets rested as well, do we potentially see Papu Gomez, um, you know, get get an opportunity once more, the goal scorer versus Paraguay, or does uh, does Scaloni go with uh, what he went versus um, you know versus Paraguay or versus Bolivia? Uh, pardon me, versus Bolivia, uh, versus uh, Uruguay beforehand or versus Chile? Um, who knows? What would you see? You know, these are the options, obviously. Uh, Papu Gomez as well. I didn't include Papu Gomez in this list because I wasn't sure. Do we put him as a midfielder? Do we put him more <laughs> towards this, uh, towards the you know the front line? Uh, I'll leave that up to you. Let me know what your starting eleven would be for Argentina versus Bolivia. What kind of formation? What kind of players? Absolutely, 
love to read the comments. Very, very uh, much enjoy doing them, uh, doing so. Uh, if you like the video, hit that like button to show your support. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button uh, to never miss a thing regarding the Argentina national team. Once more, my name is Roy Nemer of MundoAlbisasi.com, and thank you for watching.